They marched through the night, calling on the government of Carrie Lam to abandon a controversial China extradition bill rather than postpone it. But as the hours passed, the numbers were dwindling. Enter Joshua Wong, student leader and agitator, who in a spectacular piece of timing was released from prison after serving a sentence for unlawful assembly in the failed 2014 Umbrella Movement democracy push. Hong Kong people will not keep silence under the suppression of President Xi and the chief executive Carrie Lam. Carrie Lam must step down. How will the movement get her to resign? What are you going to do next? Uh, what Hong Kong people ask for is to totally withdraw the extradition law amendment. And I hope people could aware that now there's a new fight. He was soon with demonstrators preparing to march on Carrie Lam's office. Hong Kong's leader has apologised for her government's handling of this proposal to allow for extradition to mainland Chinese courts where opposition groups say a fair trial isn't possible but the apology hasn't quelled animosity. Every time this movement seems to be running out of energy, something else comes along and reinvigorates it. The problem for the government in Hong Kong and also in Beijing is that they're now speaking about broader concerns. They're calling for democracy again and ways in which freedom more generally should be defended in Hong Kong. However, their immediate target is Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam. I don't think uh, she, will be, uh, she will step down immediately. It's kind of personal now, I can tell you that. Doesn't matter how long it takes? Days, weeks, months? Whatever it takes, yeah. These protests may taper off, at least for a time. But in the long run, it's hard to see an easy way for tensions here to dissipate, given the ill will that's built up in recent times. Stephen McDonnell, BBC News, Hong Kong.